listening to Carnival FM 87.9. I'm Andy Gunter with the local music show. I'm delighted to say I've now been joined by another uh, guest for another interview and live session, Poppy Prescott. Good evening. Hi. Good to have you here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> Our pleasure. Well, one thing I want to ask is, because you mentioned that when we were talking earlier, a special anniversary. So how long have you actually been playing guitar now? I've been playing 10 years this year, yeah. That's not bad. 10 years? Yeah, so I, um, my dad's a guitar teacher, but... Um, I guess I hit six and he was like, that's it, you're the next Jimi Hendrix. So <laughs> <laughs> he gave so me a little... What, what made black. you, so was, was it family influences that made you pick the guitar up and get into music in the first place? Um, yeah, I guess it was just the given thing in my house. Yeah. You just, you hit a certain age and then you learn an instrument or something like that. And at that time... I was really into the Beatles. I was like six. Oh, no, I, well, I known your father. Yeah, that's not a surprise. So really, but. I just thought, like, not obviously not heavily. Like, yeah. I didn't hit Led Zeppelin until I was like nine. But oh, I just love the. That, I yeah, love like, pretty the, cool. the Led cute little nine. riffs and stuff like that. So. Yeah. So uh, any other sort of influences and inspirations, either getting you into music or for the songwriting process? Mm. That has to be like the hardest question. Um, I grew up with everything. Uh, Folk-wise, it was like. Laura Marling, mm. um, Nick Drake, Bob Dylan, Jose Gonzalez, and then uh, I love like um, Ian Dury yeah. and Billy Bragg, and but then I love like Al Green, and I love all the soul side as well. So good, nice eclectic mix there. Yeah, <laughs> I think it all comes out somewhere in my songs. So when did you actually start writing your own materials? I know you've, you've done gigs locally, oh, sort of cover versions and things. There's a video of when I'm about eight years old and I'm in my front row and I'm singing, like, on this massive guitar, um, oh, I'm going to go to the corner shop and get a lollipop. <laughs> Little did I know, like, later I quoted, like, some rapper, like, hinting really provocative right. things. But, yes, yeah, so I was probably about eight. That's not bad. That's good. Yeah. yeah. First song at eight and your first video at eight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Un unknown. Hopefully but, uh, never to be shown yeah, again. Yeah, let's all go and Google that later. <laughs> so uh, I understand you've been doing a couple of recordings. I actually played one of the tracks last week, a track called yeah, Harriet, and I understand cool. you're going to be playing that for us in a minute. So how did they come about and how were they done? Um, all just through friends, really. I think that's how you get about in Hastings. You just need to know people. Yeah. And uh, it started off with my dad's friends and then I saw a guy in a pub and then a great guy, Kevin Jones. I went into yeah. his studio and just recorded a couple of demos. I'm playing one of his tracks later, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. He's really good. So, yeah, I just think it's about knowing people. And Can, can people hear them anywhere? Uh, um, not yet. No, what I do is I just record on my phone and upload on SoundCloud and just do quirky little demos like yeah. that, really. I'm waiting to do something a bit with a lot of instruments and a bit more depth and a band maybe yeah oh. definitely oh that's good so that's the sort of the next step is it yeah Hopefully. yeah i love doing stuff like this in solo but um i get a little depressing when i'm on my own and a little bit held back like there's there's only so much you can do on your own yeah. so yeah a band there's obviously d different influences yeah. and different people can push you in different ways as well definitely so, i mean and that the bridge of that sort of last little question is about the hastings music scene we we're talking to blair earlier and saying about the music scene i mean you've grown up around it um <laughs> how, how do you find it for, for a young, younger person i suppose blair being a bit older yourself is it still as vibrant for a younger person yeah. as it is for an older person like me definitely i think so yeah like i don't besides like london and brighton and vital places like that it's it's great like walking down george street on a saturday night you've got places like um I don't know, Revolver, anywhere like that. Porters, yeah. anywhere. Like, they've all got... It's really cool, I think. I think we're pretty lucky. Very lucky, yeah. 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 Good. Excellent. Right, well, you're going to play a couple of songs for us, but we're going to go into a couple of little messages first. So thanks, Poppy. And you'll Thank be back you. very, very shortly. So this is um, my most fun to play. Um, started off as just a little joke to cheer my friend up, Harriet. Yes, yeah, she is real, and um, yeah, it's turned out to be one of my f like favourite songs just because it's fun. It's not that musically good, but um, and no, I don't call myself a rapper after this, but it's just so.
big eyes, soft skin, and her dark hair. She's the fantasy that all men share, but so there's so much to see. Harriet, no, she don't believe me, and I tell her each day how many eyes pass her up and down, but she still denies. She says I'm trying to ignore it, I'm looking for something more, but I'm just so bored. And we'll be sitting on a bench in the sun somewhere. She'll get a text saying, baby, I want you here. She says I didn't do nothing, he's just a typical man. I'm laughing so hard, she don't understand, and her credibility is worth a lot. The lads say her fine figures fit to trot in that red dress with the polka dots while they smoke the pot, and they'll be thinking, Harriet, 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 and her. Recent actions may be perceived as out of line You egotistical planks need to realise Superficial reflection of the male fantasy Isn't all Harriet is She's a human being So what's beneath the clothes But what she loves and loathes And oh dear boy, it's not you Oh dear boy, oh dear boy, it's not you Oh dear boy, oh dear boy, it's not you Oh dear boy, oh dear boy, it's not you Oh dear boy, oh dear boy, it's not you and Harriet, 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 Harriet. If you saw the beauty that I see, or oh, what she means to me. All I'm asking for is you love her kindly If you saw the beauty that I see Or oh, what she means to me All I'm asking for is you love her kindly If you saw the beauty that I see Or oh, what she means to me All I'm asking for is you love her kindly Love her kindly Oh dear boy, oh dear boy, it's not you Harriet, 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 Harriet. Thank you very much for having me.